Thompson collection. I have both the Anna and Elsa palettes. They came in a set. Same. 
exact presentation is the Anna. But they are so pretty. Look how pretty they are. Very bright. I don't collect makeup. I wear it. And that's if I decide to do something different out of the... Since I started wearing makeup at 14. Let's see. 14, 24, 25, 26, 27, 27. Out of the 14 years I've ever been wearing it, if I decide to change up my look. So the colors on these are a little bit more neutral, um, light, aesthetic, in a way, pale colors. I haven't taken the sticker off of this one either, so here we go. <laughs> this one is cracked, and it is Northern Lights, and most of these are shimmers. We have one, two, three mattes. My favorite color is spark or spindrift right here so we'll do a little swatch see this one's a more creamy color pretty chalky though I might have dug too deep into the pan but it's a beautiful color <laughs> it's, it's almost in a way attempting to be creamy but at the same time it's just chalky. You can't mix like, I don't know, the formula's odd. So both of them together. <laughs> Make sure to breathe my bacteria into both. So these are my first two in my collection as of late. So my daughter and son adores Frozen and everybody didn't like the second one, but I thought it was beautiful. I do not have a makeup wipe to wipe this off, so we'll use a Glasses USA um, <laughs> glasses cleaner that I have since used for lipstick, and we'll just wipe that right off there. Kind of stain, but anything with a dark, deep color, you'll have that. So moving on. Yeah, I did that, but that's okay. We don't need to tell anybody. Gonna move on to a different consistency of palette, which everybody knows. This one, you can't mess it up. You can't mistake this palette from anywhere. The conspiracy palette. The conspiracy. Conspiracy, conspiracy. Just gonna waste. 
wasted. They're like, throw out your makeup after a year. I'm like, get fucked. But anyway, look how bright that is. The texture and consistency, in my opinion, is really bright. much, much more because of the nudes. Anything light or nude is my kind of palette. So, I like never... Oh god, I'm putting my fingers right in that. Okay. I never remove the like plastic seals over the mirrors. I just don't. I don't know why. I, I'm too blind. I'm a blind ass bitch. And, you know, as you can tell, I'm wearing new shades today. Something to try out. It's different, but anyway, beep those. Ready? Yikes. I do not take care of my stuff. <laughs> Sorry for shaking you there. But anyway, you can tell which um, shades I've used the most, which are blur. I use bucked, distilled, um, dream weaver, and the lighter colors, angel fire, and Basically, I only use two colors on my eyes. I'm actually using this palette for my normal makeup look, use it like recently. And I use Bucked and Angel Fire on like the lids, and then I blend out over the crease. If you can see, I don't know, I can't. <laughs> I can't see. But I really like palettes like these. Like I said, anything that's nude. But I will say, Anastasia Beverly Hills, I really wanted to get the new Carly by Bell palette. That girl is a goddess. Carly by Bell is literally, like, not from this earth. Her, whoever she is, like, incredible. Okay, and if you ever want to find a Khloe Kardashian look, Nicole Guerrero, that's your ticket. She's like the generic version of Khloe, only they're both beautiful. I didn't mean it like that. It's like how people call me the generic GB ASMR for some reason. I don't know why. I keep getting comments like that often, and it's just very hurtful. But <laughs> so moving on. Back to Jeffrey Star. I am literally thinking of selling this, uh, but apparently he's coming out with a new one. Obviously, selling it wouldn't be a good idea if I've already swatched it, which I had. But I really don't like this. This came in a um, mystery box. And it is the Peppermint Frost palette. But really, if you want it and you don't mind my bacteria, you can have something definitely to say during a pandemic. But okay, moving on. The one, what I do like about this is the presentation. That's one thing I like about Jeffree Star makeup is it's just always made like well. So this is a really tough outer palette and look how pretty that is. That's such a nice thing to receive during Christmas, but you open it or you look on the back, it has this logo and then you open it and you get a whiff of peppermint and it's not generic peppermint legitimately smell peppermint and all of Jeffrey's ingredients are safe for your like eyes and everything like that I mean look how pretty that is but the colors they're not gonna do anything for me and apparently these are highlights um chocolate ice I could use definitely for my I want to swatch it yeah I'm not selling this what am I talking about like look how pretty that is that's so bright and just a gentle swatch, you can see it. It's not chalky. It's not. Do you know what I mean? But anyway, the reason that I 
can't really use these as anything but shadows is because I'm so pale. I'm so pale. You're on air. Oh, <laughs> no, you guys know what I'm talking about. It's because I am so pale. And the highlighter that I use on my face is the Jaclyn Hill highlighter. <sighs> She's next, by the way. So, with that palette, that's just what I have in my collection that's updated as of recent. It is April, almost May. And I got that, like I said, in a mystery box during Christmas. But next palette is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. because it's so cheap. Um, like people say, you know, it's... Let me explain something to you about high-end makeup very quickly. People say they can't afford it, and I completely agree. I couldn't either. But here's the thing, and here's my advice. If you are more prone to getting drugstore makeup because you feel that you can't afford high-end, Morphe is considered high-end makeup, and my best advice is their palettes usually go for like a regular drugstore palette goes for like 8 to 10. Um, I would substitute something, for example, like a lipstick or something like that that you would usually get and put the other $10 towards Morphe because they're, I mean, as much as they put out, their colors are very vibrant and very pretty and that's why I bought this for Jaclyn Hill because she likes nudes as well. And this whole set This, these first two rows are something that I would wear on my eyes. The most I would wear, which you can see, is G-Money and Grateful, but anything else, and maybe flawed and odd, but I can use most of this. So we have one, two, three, and then four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty. We have twenty-three shades I can use out of this whole palette. This was worth it to me, but I'll admit, as problematic as Jaclyn Hill is, I love her aesthetic, like everything she wears and everything how she presents herself is my dream. Like I love the whole classy yet cozy look, but my butch dad, <laughs> we're not looking any professional anytime soon, but it's okay. but not least in my palette collection as of late is the Kylie Jenner palette. Now, I got this Jaclyn Hills Morphe palette and a couple I didn't bring for some reason. Are they in the box? What's in the box? Oh yeah, there is one in there that I actually got on sale. And this was during um, not Black Friday. It was like a after Christmas sale or something on oh shoot, I can't think of the name Ulta, Ulta was having a Black Friday sale and I got all of these palettes for like 50% off that's another tip if you want to own high-end makeup and you know, you feel like you can't afford it or anything, check clearance online all of the time that's how I started out whenever, um, you know I could I was like fucking like dead ass poor I wasn't stealing something like way back in the day. Um, I was shopping clearance with my husband's bank card. Let's thank God we've, you know, grown. And, but anyway, always check clearance. Even in grocery stores or drugstore makeup, you can find makeup on clearance. And then use that money and save it towards maybe high-end makeup. But always remember with high-end makeup that just because it's considered high-end, Smashbox, that overall, it might not be good. But the gay eyeshadow primer. Okay, so here is the Kylie Jenner palette. It's just literally called the Kylie Jenner palette. The Kylie Jenner palette. The Kylie Jenner palette. And the reason I really like this and bought it was not just because it was on clearance, but because it had more choices of matte nudes. So there is a very big difference between shimmer and matte. Obviously, shimmer is too shiny. Now, I don't like very much, you can't really see it, this palette, because 
colors, the shades, they're not very, I'm trying to find one I didn't swatch yet. Jack ID is a color I really like. It's like a rose, rosy color. It's just like, it's like mid-grade, if, that, if that's a way to judge something. I don't know. It's not very good. And although I'm all about Kylie's lipsticks that like end up like glue on your lips and everything, and I ended up buying a fake one at this like fall festival place, and literally the thing was like glue and smelled like chemicals and made my lips burn. When I ended up getting the real thing, it was very similar, but anyway. <laughs> um, matte colors just, I feel like they look more like nice and clean on the lid. Now, I don't know how to do makeups, makeups <laughs> by any means, but if you look at my busted eyes, this is why I wear glasses, because I look like this, you can see that it just looks like a more clean, I don't know how to explain it, but anyway. So yeah, her palette had more choices of matte, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and I think that's it. And ultimately, I would only wear one, two, three, four, five. I would only wear five of those colors, two of them if I was desperate, <laughs> but. And what I like about this palette is it's just clean looking, it's very simplistic. So simplistic doesn't always mean cheap. It doesn't always mean like stupid or gross or whatever you want to call it. I absolutely love like simplistic aesthetics and the way they make things look simplistic, simplistic and simplistic. And then the last palette I have as of recently is the Nubian by Juvia's Place. Now all the drama channels like Betty Page, Betty Page, Betty Page, Betty Page. I ended up getting her PR for a cup of a day, day, or however you pronounce it, but they like fired her because she did OnlyFans, and I'm thinking like, literally she was under contract, and I'm like, that's so like unprofessional and gross, but that's a whole another situation, so I won't be doing that PR at boxing, <laughs> but anyway, Betty Page is also sponsored by Juvie's Place, and they are pretty cool, apparently, so I hear. Anyway, this palette is beautiful because all of it is nudes for the most part. A lot of shimmer, but we've got one, two, three, four. We've got four mattes. I've never really seen a black color that was shimmer for a eyeshadow. I'm pretty sure that would be messy to make, and you probably wouldn't see it, but you never know. But Nubia's Place, their palettes are, um, I have three of them. The ones inside, it's a mini of something, but you Let's see. It's just they have a really soft, creamy. Now, obviously, I'm swatching this in another swatch. <laughs> Dirty. <laughs> it's okay. But I like how light it doesn't go on. What's the word I'm looking for? It's not like cheap, but it goes on just right. So I really like that about them. And yeah, this is a pretty simplistic palette as well. And then directly on the back, what I also dig about this is they have all of their ingredients. So, we always want to stay in a company that doesn't lie about their ingredients, but that's okay. <laughs> so with that being said, last but not least, I guess, is the frozen lip gloss that came in the Elsa set. stuff smells like the dollar store lip gloss. There's nothing wrong with that, but it has a smell to it, like a nostalgic smell. We all started off somewhere. Started at Lip Smackers and now we're here. I'm kidding. <laughs> I like that. I just hate the smell. And I ruined the stick. Don't give him the stick. on and that's such a pet peeve of mine. Oh, it actually is coming off. Ew. Wait, maybe not. I have lied to all of you. Okay. It's a little bit clean. Then you turn it around. It's just as bad, but it's like a smell of like a chocolate color. Chocolate. 
that smell? I don't know, but it reminds me of, like, the lip gloss you can buy at the dollar store. I forget the brand name of it. But yeah, Femca, not Cover Girl. I use Cover Girl. I still have her breast powder. But yeah. So, with that being said, let me end today's video by letting you know that it doesn't fucking matter what you put on your face. It doesn't matter if it's, like, drugstore. It doesn't matter if it's high-end. It doesn't matter. You're beautiful the way you are. And I was just showing you my updated lip gloss, lip gloss eyeshadow collection. So with that being said, family, if you've made it this far, I hope that tonight's video was just a nice video to put in the background. To relax you and make you feel a little less bored or a little less alone in this pandemic, 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 and I